Hi everyone, welcome back to Liberty Park Music's YouTube channel. My name is Z and today we'll be looking at a quick video lesson on Bob Marley's song, Three Little Birds. So if you feel like you have any questions halfway through the video, please leave it as a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So let's jump right into the lesson. Singing don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright Don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright Rise up this morning Smile with the rising sun It's three little birds Stood by my doorstep Singing sweet songs Of melodies pure and true Singing This is my message to you ooh, ooh. Okay, so first things first, let's look at the song structure so the structure for this song is quite simple. It first begins with four bars of A major, and that is the intro. Then it alternates between chorus and verse. So the chorus is the part where he says, don't worry about a thing. And the verse is when he starts singing, uh, rise up this morning, smile with the rising sun, so on and so forth. Um, so for the chorus and verse, it repeats over and over again. So once you're done with the intro, you will go into the chorus, then the verse, then the chorus again, then the verse, and then you will play the last chorus three times. So as you might have noticed, this song only has three chords, E major, A major, and D major. Okay, so first things first, the chorus only consists of two chords, the A major and the D major. Now, one thing I want to change about the A major is the regular way to play your A major is to have your index finger on the second fret of the fourth string, your middle finger on the second fret of the third string, and your ring finger on the second fret of the second string. But what I want you to do instead is have your, your middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string instead and then your index finger on the second fret of the third string and then your ring finger on the second fret of the second string. So with this replacement fingerings, you will have a much easier time switching between your A major and your D major and your E major as well because you have what's called an anchor finger. Your index finger stays on the same string throughout these three chords. So, for now, just try to strum the chorus with down strums. Four down strums per bar. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, D major. And then A major. Now, the replacement fingers that we had for A major in the chorus applies for the verse as well. So same thing for the verse, index finger on the third string of the, sorry, the second fret of the third string, middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and ring finger on the second fret of the second string. So this allows you to switch between your A to your E and back to your D a lot faster. So the verse goes like this. We're going to do down strums for now. Okay, so now let's look at the right hand plucking technique. Um, I'm going to show you where to place each finger 
of your right hand when it comes to plucking each chord. So for the A major, you want to have your thumb on the fifth string, your index finger on the fourth string, your middle finger on the third string, and your ring finger on the second string. So you'll be doing a thumb pluck. Notice how when I pluck, I, I don't peel my hand away from the strings, I just close my fingers into a fist. For my thumb, I just do this. For the E major, you want to keep your three fingers on still on the fourth string, third string, and second string, but now your thumb moves to the sixth string. And finally, for the D major, you want to move your thumb down to the fourth string, your index finger on the third string, middle finger on the second string, and your ring finger on the first string. And then same thing, try this, thumb pluck. Remember to close your hand instead of peeling your hand away to pluck. Now, let's talk about the groove. The groove, um, basically this song, I mean, as you can tell, it's a reggae song, and the reggae groove emphasizes on the upbeats, meaning the end beats. So what we will do is we will play our thumb on the one count, and on all the upbeats, we will be playing using these three fingers. So if, for example, I'm just going to stay on an A major chord, what I mean by that is when I play my thumb, sorry, when I play the one beat, I will use my thumb, and on all the end beats, I will use these three fingers. So one, and two, and three, and four, and. Notice as well, after I pluck these strings, I mute the strings immediately by using my right hand. I'm just placing it down on the strings again. So once again, it's one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. And then you, if you have a change chord to like D major, move your hand down. One, and two, and three, and four, and. And that's pretty much it for the right hand. You just have to practice switching the chords and moving your right hand along with the chord changes as well. And that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. And if you feel like you have any questions, remember to leave them in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video lesson, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next lesson.